Okay, welcome to this uh, hexagon tutorial. Okay, um, I've what I've done here is is uh, this is going to be a uh, tire modeling tutorial or a, or a method for it in hexagon. Um, I tried for a long time and then I had an idea one day while I was actually at work and uh, thought I would try it when I got home and it, it and it worked. Uh, there are some tire treads out there that that uh, I just can't model in hexagon. I had to use either Blender or XSI and uh, but I'm going to show you a way to uh, model a tire in hexagon. Um, anyway I just created some sort of random wild weird uh, tire tread here as you can just uh, to take a look here and it, it just kind of the edges kind of fold over and, and and maybe I want to uh, probably let's see what happens here if we uh, give it a little more curve there let's go to soft selection and just kind of maybe pull nope soft selection is There we go. That's up way too far. There, let's just kind of. Uh, maybe it needs to be. Let's. Shift plus to kind of select a little few more points there. Now, what I'm trying to do is give it a little more like that. There we go. That's one I'm trying to get. Okay. Anyway, so it kind of gives it a little bit of uh, more curvature. So anyway, that's our tread. Anyway, and also uh, make sure that when you model your tread, that that one side is uh, does not have an edge extruded, and the other one has a small edge extruded. You only want that on one side or else you'll have too much gap between your tires or between your uh, patterns. So let's go ahead and just let's make sure that we're in uh, uh, object selection. Just go to a single copy here. Click. I'm going to tap my space bar and let's get this kind of close here, close as we can. Okay. Um, see, I think that'll work. We should be able to go select both of those now and, and weld them together. And these, where where they meet up against each other, those uh, vertices uh, did not weld together. Now you can see right here if I put a smoothing level on it, and and you look right here, it comes apart. So uh, all those vertices didn't weld together. So let's try going to the vertex modeling tab and put an average weld on it. And may not even have to. Uh, let's try that. Let's see, nope. Okay, we are going to have to go back to the average weld. And oh, too much. Let's see if we can enter a value of 50. See what happens. Yeah, I think we've all we're all welded together there. So, um, do remember that if you're going to sub D this, you need to add some support edges, or you're going to get some a really screwed up looking tire. Okay, um, we could could do this with uh, the multiple copies uh, utility. Um, I prefer doing it with a single copy so the welding uh, you can kind of keep a track on welding 
getting everything lined up and welded together. So let's see here. That's pretty close. So let's go ahead and weld that together. Let's check our welds. Nope. Okay. Back to the vertex modeling tab. Average weld. Let's enter a value of 0 0.050 again. Validate that and see what happens this time. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's do that again. And just kind of drag it close. At least <coughs> using this method, every time you create uh, that copy, your your amount of tread doubles. I guess we could snap align this, couldn't we? So let's do that. Uh, under the utilities tab, let's snap align this and then we'll go ahead and weld those together and maybe it actually uh, welded all those verts together. Yes, it did. Snap line is the trick. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, create another one, a copy here. And we'll just go ahead and snap align that. Before we snap align that, let me show you a little trick here. If you're trying to line up two objects, you can see here I can't see my widget, so I can't drag around it and drag it around and move it with a widget. Uh, I could just go here and enter some position values, but one thing I, I use quite a bit <laughs> if I'm trying to line two thing, uh, objects up like this, I'll just go to set pivot point and just click one of the points there in front and then you ha you can see your widget and you have uh, control of it over it there. Let's go ahead and reset that. Um, let's uh, snap a line these objects together again and let's just weld those together. Let's see how much we've got here. I think we want to go maybe uh, once or twice more. And then we'll just go in. Oops. I'm using Windows 8, by the way. And uh, if you hit the wrong key, you'll go switch to uh, another screen. Let's go ahead and snap align these. And weld them together. Let's see how. Let's go. Uh, let's not go any bigger with that. Let's kind of scale it a little bit in the X. Because <clears throat> uh, my recording software, if we get too many verts and the recording software is running and hexagon is running, uh, it may crash on me and I don't want that. Let's go to the orthographic view. Let's go ahead and line up our... Treads here. Uh, let's grab one of these edges here and loop select it. Doggone it, it didn't loop select, so that tells me I've got some edges that didn't did not uh, weld together there. I thought they did. Now so let's go ahead and run that average weld again and Hopefully we don't mess anything up. Yep, everything welded together. We'll just back off on it there. Back off on it one more time. Uh, enter the five zero value again. 
Yeah, hexagon slowing down on me here with okay let's try to select one of those edges again and see if we got it nope well now I'm not gonna fix it right now um, let's go to the front view actually what <coughs> what we need to do is we needed to select that edge and uh, get the number of vertices on there and then double it and then create a <clears throat> circle from center so we're just gonna do that randomly here okay I'm gonna grab the circle from center and drag it out to till it's the same width as our treads there um, we're gonna leave that value on our circle set to 162 so this tire tread will have uh, plenty of uh, a smooth bend to it let's go ahead and validate that now let's uh, go to point selection and we've got our curve selected let's just select these points everything uh, below the these points here that line up with the bottom edge of our threads and just delete that okay uh, let's make sure we're in object selection and then we'll select our treads and then under the utilities tab we're going to select the bin tool and then select our curve then you'll need to collapse your dynamic geometry and there you've got half of your tire and then you can just go to the vertex modeling tab and go to the symmetry and I think those lined up nope they didn't line up so there again you had to use your average weld or loop select those edges and then convert them to points <coughs> and then average weld them um, we might just try that so I'm gonna select both of the <coughs> both of our objects and then we'll weld those together and that fixes our flip normals and let's go to edge here and let's try to go in here and loop select those and then convert selection to points and then let's average weld those and see ah I may have done it. it looks appears that it did it the first time we have some extra faces in here though oh wow no no we don't okay never mind get I ever said that okay then uh, you'll need to go back over to the other side and select those two edges loop select convert selection to points average weld and uh, sorry I didn't didn't take uh, more time with this tutorial and make it a little more uh, new user friendly I think uh, a lot of uh, the old hexagon vets can can get through it and you can always uh, head over to uh, the DAS forum uh, I haven't been in there much lately but I'm sure uh, one of the guys that understood this tutorial can can give you a hand on making this tire um, there are some other tread patterns out there if you if you go to look them up on Google that are a little more complicated I just built something that was really basic here or and just kind of random uh, but you can find uh, some other threads and, and figure out how to do those and maybe what you want to do uh, with an offset thread 
is go in there and select half your geometry and after you're finished building it and then just rotate those threads a little bit will give you an offset thread pattern anyway I've got to cut this off here uh, so hope to have uh, some more tutorials up before long have a great day